at Fire Snuggles Resource Zone TV. Um, today we're talking about postpartum thyroid disorder. Um, over one in 20 women get postpartum thyroid disorder. So it's, this is very common um, to get about six months, within the first six months of having your baby. It, it's very increased. Um, sometimes women may notice some differences when they get pregnant, but the, the most noticeable difference in knowing that you have thyroid disorder happens right after you have your baby. So I'll tell you the effects of what's going on, how we can, um, it's not something that you really can prevent. It, it's just something that it happens and you have to be very close with your OBGYN to let them know what's going on, how we can correct this, and how we can move forward. So first of all, what is it? Um, your thyroid may be underactive or overactive. So underactive mean hypothyroidism, hyperactive mean hyperthyroidism. So hypo, hyper. Um, an underactive thyroid makes you feel tired and sluggish. An overactive thyroid makes you feel anxious and shaky. Um, most doctors diagnose um, thyroid problems with, with blood tests. But postpartum thyroid problems often go away on their own, but you still may need medicine to manage it. So the symptoms of thyroid disorder, like I said, with hyperthyroidism is like losing weight, tiredness, fast heartbeat, tremors that you can't control, nervousness, um, hypothyroidism, um, extreme tiredness, constipation, dry skin, thinning hair, and a puffy face. Um, now you may ask like, how is this gonna affect me after being pregnant? You know, how does that affect my body? So hyperthyroidism can cause your milk ducts to like explode with milk. Like you, you can literally feed a village with the milk that you may produce. So hypothyroidism, can limit the amount of milk being made and it can cause you to it, it severely degree decrease I'm sorry in the amount of milk that you can produce so you always 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 want to be careful about that and let your doctor know what's going on with that um, um, like I said earlier most doctors diagnose this through blood tests and that's like pretty much the only way you just let them know your symptoms which you've been going through lately and they will further on um, guide you either to take a test or to manage it some other type of way um, how do doctors treat postpartum thyroid disorders so how they treat them so we said how we diagnose them which is a blood test so how we treat them so you may need treatment if your symptoms bother you a whole lot, if you're not producing a lot of milk, um, your blood tests are very abnormal. Um, for hypothyroidism, you take thyroid hormone pills. But hyper, that, that would definitely be a, a doctor's issue and they can guide you in a way that you need to um, go. So just always be mindful of what your body is producing. Um, the home remedies with hypothyroidism, meaning low low milk um, production, I, I wouldn't follow that type of stuff. I, I would just consult my doctor. That's what they're getting paid for. That's what they they went to, all, to school for all these years for. Let them guide you in the way that you need to go. I can just send you my advice and then direct you to your doctor. But my job is just to educate you on what to look for, to know your body, know what questions to ask your doctor when these um, issues occur. So I hope this information was helpful for you. Thanks for tuning in. Like and subscribe. Until next time, have a fantastic day.